Hey guys, Steve here, singledadfitdad.com. Thanks for watching. Today I want to talk about your workouts, more specifically why the workouts that you're doing now may uh, actually be doing more harm than good. And let me explain this real quick. First off, um, I always talk about cardio, okay? Um, cardio gets a bad rap, especially lately in the media. Um, and when it comes to fat loss, right, and, and when we're talking about getting into shape and building lean muscle, getting fitter, uh, it comes down to fat loss, right? That's the ultimate goal is to shed fat, okay? So when I say cardio, I'm talking about any kind of steady state cardio, we're talking about running uh, for extended periods of time, jogging, using treadmill, um, you know, any, anything that's going to be long duration, low intensity cardio is not the best use of your time if you're looking to burn fat. It's just not. It's great if you're training for something, if you have a specific goal, you're running a 5K, whatever it is, Sure, run all day long, but for um, maximum fat loss and for 99% of you, that's your number one goal is to, is to strip away that body fat and get lean and muscular, uh, it's definitely not the most uh, beneficial use of your time, okay? Secondly, you have no plan, okay? You're walking into the gym or you're training wherever with no plan in mind, okay? Maybe it's just the workout of the day, maybe it's something you read online earlier or in a meds magazine, whatever the case, you don't have a structured plan, okay? And, and there's a lot to be said for having a structured plan. Now, I'm a big believer in challenging your body, mixing it up. You know, when you think of something like that, you think of like P90X or something that's always challenging you in different ways. And I believe in that. Um, I think muscle confusion is an important principle. But with that said, it needs to have some kind of structure and most people don't have that, okay? Third, you're not progressing, okay? I see it time and time and time again at the gym. The same dudes, doing the same exercises with the same weights, um, you know, week after week, month after month. I mean, I've seen people doing the same uh, workouts six months, nine months later because, you know, maybe they just don't know any better. Maybe they're comfortable using those exercises. Maybe they just like them. Maybe they really want to focus on certain muscle groups, but they're not mixing it up and they're not progressing. They look the same and they're staying the same. That's not what we want, okay? Lastly, Doing ineffective exercises, okay? I'm not saying that. I think, you know, pretty much any exercise is going to be effective in some capacity, but some are far greater than others, okay? And maybe your program is working against you in that, you know, you're there for an hour and, you know, you're wasting time on things that aren't working. You're doing a lot of isolation movements. You're doing a lot of, let's call it, uh, let's see, bicep curls, tricep push downs, um, lateral raises, you know, things that, you know, leg extensions, things like that, that um, a lot of isolation movements that, yes, are effective, but they're not nearly as effective as other more, um, what we call them compound exercises that use a lot more joints, a lot more muscle groups. So, uh, and a lot of these, I mean, not only ineffective exercises, but exercises that can actually hurt you. I mean, a lot of these machines that people are using these, you know, not all machines, just have X machines, whatever, hammer strength. The, you know, the, the body doesn't move in a fixed pattern, right? So when you're using a, a bicep curl, for example, and you're using a machine, um, you know, the arm is not intended to move in just a very, very strict plane of motion, right? It, it moves around. So that's why, you know, you say, for example, you use dumbbells instead, but people that overuse machines or, or, you know, the Smith machine is another one of my least favorite things. Um, can develop injuries and, and, and issues over time, muscle imbalances, so it can be doing more harm than good for sure. Um, and one of the reasons why I wanted to share this with you today is uh, I'm finally, as of today, uh, launching my 12-week um, customized training program. I know I've kind of alluded to it. I've sent out a couple of emails. I've had some feedback. I know a number of you are looking forward to uh, the program. So it's taken a while, but I finally got it together here and um, I'm going to go ahead and drop the, the link below here, um, but you know this is going to be something that's really going to help you deal with these issues. You know, basically what it is is a structured 12-week program. Uh, it's a cardiovascular program along with a strength training program designed specifically for you. Okay, you're going to get a questionnaire. You're going to find out. Um, you know, uh, I'm going to find out uh, everything I need to know about you uh, and your program and what you're looking for. And then I'm going to design a specific program, 12 weeks long, for you. <clears throat> it's going to address all this stuff and actually a lot more. So just click the link below to get more information and I look forward to working with you.